Hello subscribers, welcome to part 2. Here I will teach you how to sculpt a beard and mustache, as well as how to create hair from a spear. If you are interested in setting up passive income by selling 3D models, send me a personal message we can discuss these topics further. Go to Sculpt Mode. I am adding a multi-resolution modifier to the face. As it's difficult to add finer details and wrinkles to give the model a realistic resemblance. Enable YX symmetry to mirror the brush effects. We can easily add facial hair to the face using the draw brush. I am disabling the X symmetry, but it's up to you whether to keep it enabled or not. Just use the draw brush and casually increase the hair density. After switching to object mode, don't forget to increase the viewport value, or the changes you made in sculpting want to be reflected in object mode. Let's refer to the side view for the beard. Make a copy of the side view image and move it to the back for reference. Let's add a few more markings using the annotator tool. I have selected green for the pen color. I am drawing the row sketch of the facial hair for reference. Since the images are taken from different angles, we can't perfectly match the 3D face model to the image manually. Continue sculpting the beard using the markings as a reference. I didn't enable the X symmetry, so I am manually sculpting on both sides but you can enable it and sculpt from one side itself. Blender is responding slowly, so I will apply the multi-resolution modifier and continue sculpting. Use the draw brush to sculpt the beard, following the annotator markings and adding details here and there. I have sped up the sculpting tutorial. If you would prefer a slower demo or a paid a live session, let me know in the comments. Let's make the hair for the head. Import a mesh spear. Move and resize the spear to fit the shape of the head. Go to Sculpt Mode and enable the X symmetry as usual. Use the draw brush to sculpt the hair making it like a wig covering the bald head. Sculpting is very easy as you can see how I am casually fitting the hair. If you need help, feel free to message here. Many students have sculpted their own characters and shared them with me. After fitting the hair, Let's increase the resolution using the multi-resolution modifier and click subdivide it twice to make finer details. Increase the strength of the draw brush as shown in the demonstration. Just draw lines for the hair to make it look more natural. Do it for the side view as well. We can hide and unhide the reference pictures as needed for better comfort and clarity. Increase the resolution further by pressing subdivide on the multi-resolution modifier. Sculpting above the same hair will give it a more natural, hair-like feel, making it look realistic. I have also taught how to make different hairstyles. 
You can see it at the top. But before clicking that video, complete this one and watch it to the end so you won't miss the continuation. As you can see, I am simply dragging the draw brush in a hair-like pattern all around. In the end, you will achieve a great result with minimal effort. Increase the viewport value or you might not be able to see the sculpted changes in object mode. If you are interested in seeing the work of the other students, drop a comment below. I will add you to a group where you can connect with others who are working towards the same goal. So you know you are not alone. Keep watching to learn how to create a customized dress.